Hi, I'm Jamie Turney from Lawrence, Kansas. I'm here to spend some time with you talking about the types of policies. But first of all, let's cover some basics. When I mention the insured or the client, I'm talking about the person who has life insurance. When I mention the policy owner, that's actually the person who pays for the policy. And then lastly, if I mention death benefit, coverage, or face amount, I'm talking about the amount of insurance. So let's get started with temporary insurance. The first few characteristics is term insurance lasts for a specific period of time, maybe 10 years or 20 years. It's also pure protection. There's no cash value or savings account with this insurance. It's only insurance, and the death benefit will be payable upon an untimely death. Also, with most insurances, there is a need factor to make sure that if there's an untimely death, we cover debt, income protection, pay off the mortgage, and also extra expenses like education or even funeral expenses. With term insurance, you can usually get more protection for less money, which makes it affordable for most families. Now, I always get the question, but what happens at the end of the 20 years, Jamie? What happens to my insurance? Well, you have two features, two benefits with term insurance. The first one being you can renew that policy. That means you can keep that policy the same. At the end of that 20 years, you just add another 20-year period of time to that. You also have a choice to convert that policy which means you're actually moving that policy from a term insurance policy to an insurance policy that is permanent or will cover you till you are 100 years old. Those are your two choices, but with those, you have a couple of different benefits as well. The first one being that as you uh, get to the end of the term, you will be older, so you will pay a little bit more for that because the price will be based on your attained age. The second benefit is you will not have to ask, answer medical questions. There is no evidence of insurability required. So let's cover the four types of term insurance. The first one being a level term insurance. That means that the coverage or the death benefit will remain the same over the entire period of time. It will not change. The second type of policy is called an annual renewable term policy. It's very similar to the level. The coverage and the death benefit do remain the same. However, the price or the premium every year will go up based on the insured's attained age. So the first two are both level coverage, but one of them does have an increasing premium. And then the third type of policy is a decreasing policy. That means the protection or the coverage will go down. Most of the times these are sold right next to a mortgage. Uh, that means that somebody has taken a mortgage out maybe of 100000 they have a decreasing term policy that's also 100000 As the balance of their mortgage goes down, so does their coverage on their insurance. And then the last type of policy is called an increasing policy. That means their coverage is going up every year. And these are easily found in employee and employer groups. If an employee has coverage based on their annual salary, and this year their annual salary is 50000 their coverage will be equal to 50000 Next year, when their salary increases to 55000 so will their coverage amount. So we've basically covered four different types of policies, level, annual renewable term, decreasing and increasing, depending on what happens to the coverage of those policies. And of course, remember that term insurance is pure protection only. There is no cash value and you have two special features, the renewable option, keeping that policy the same, and then the convertible option, changing that policy to a permanent form of insurance. I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you soon.